This is Union Health Today. It's quick, it's easy, and it's the most cost-effective way to prevent the spread of germs and viruses. We're talking about, of course, washing your hands. When we come back, I'm going to show you how to properly wash your hands. Have a minor illness or injury that just can't wait? You need convenient care. Open seven days a week, no appointment needed. Visit us at 221 South 6th Street in downtown Terre Haute. The convenience you need, the care you trust. Convenient care from Union Health. Welcome back to Union Health Today. I'm Mike King. Well, if you're an adult, no doubt you've been told most, if not all of your life, to wash your hands. It's important when it comes to preventing the spread of germs. And now more than ever, all of us need to wash our hands and wash our hands properly. Of course, you know, you can help prevent the spread of uh, viruses that cause gastrointestinal problems like salmonella and the same with influenza uh, or even the coronavirus. So that's what makes washing your hands so important. The question is, are you washing your hands properly? So I'm going to show you right now the proper way to wash your hands. First, take off your rings, wash them separately. That way nothing is tramped under them. Next, use warm water. Wet your hands when you start. Liquid soap is best. You won't need a lot. Then, of course, comes the actual washing. The CDC recommending 20 seconds. Now, I'm not going to sing, but two verses of happy birthday should get you to 20 seconds with no problem. Make sure you thoroughly wash the palms and back sides of your hands, your fingers and nails. You also want to avoid touching your face between hand washings. And a correction, salmonella is a gastrointestinal infection, not a virus, but hand washing still works to limit the spread of that infection. So remember, wash your hands for approximately 20 seconds, use hot water, use soap, and of course, remember to dry your hands, if possible, with a disposable paper towel. I'm Mike King. Hope to see you next week on Union Health Today.